On this edition of the news, we'll take a look at the rumours for the Black Series that are upcoming in a wave, fair way down the track. Got a new pickup to show you from one of my pre-orders, and we check out a modern day holy grail. Holy moly, you'll want to see what this is. Awesome more coming up. Welcome to my television, your home action figure news. Yes, today we will talk about the rumours of the new Black Series. You may have seen them already posted online, but here we'll talk about them in detail. As you know, the most recent wave you guys in the US and UK have been coming across for Black Series is this one, Wave 31. And I just love showing this picture from Isaac Wong Toys. It is brilliant. As you know, there's eight figures in that wave, eight characters in that wave, no double ups. Moving on to the next wave, which I'm going to call the Client Wave. You can see that one there? Five characters. So obviously, we'll get a couple of double-ups because you've got to have eight in the wave. No word on which ones they are at the moment. But obviously, Ahsoka is going to be overly popular. As I've mentioned earlier in a video, Ahsoka oversaturation, but she's so, so popular. She'll sell. Then we move on to that following wave. After that, another five figures. I'm going to call this the Figure and Dan Wave. Obviously, three of those figures will be doubled up as well. But having said that about those two waves, with five figures and could be double ups, uh, could be rollovers of a character from the previous wave uh, as well. Now, we get to the wave we're going to talk about today. Ta da! This exciting wave is known as, well, Wave 34. Now, I, I don't want to go on about these Wave 34, 33s. It's because every place on the planet calls them something different. Uh, you might see them, I see them on yakface.com's website as wave 34, wave 33, wave 32, whatever. You go to other sites around the world and they're calling them completely different waves once again. So that's why I'm kind of stick to the character wave as it is. This wave has four figures. Four figures only, but saying that this is just a rumor. There could be five, there could be, there could be eight, who knows. But at the time of this info from Jedi Insider, Thank you, JC. This is hinted to be the third wave of 2022. That's not exclusive. None of these are exclusive. This wave consists of the pipeline figure of the New Republic security droid. Yay! That's what we need. More security. <laughs> if you like your droids, this is going to be awesome for you guys. Having said that, there is that uh, Q90 droid still kind of peg woman out there. More droids. I guess you guys love your droids. The pipeline figure, it wasn't really pipeline. You know when they do pipeline, they show a picture like this and they put them in the boxes. They didn't really do that for this one. And have a look, it is Din Djarin, Tank Trooper Disguise in Black Series, part of this wave. I've talked about this before. I think it's kind of cool, this one, because it's going to pair up nicely with Migs Mayfield, which kind of leads us to, are they going to give us that juggernaut? Who knows? Let that one speculate. Man, a six inch vehicle. Ooh. Ooh. Now the two newies that we're going to talk about. First one is a bit of a letdown. It is Grief Karga Magistrate figure. This one is from season two. We already have this figure in its TVC form. Now we're going to have him again. He's a lovely bloke, but really he peg warms hard. Hopefully they do something a little bit different rather than take the first version of him and repaint him. We'll wait and see what it looks like. The other one, this one is the good one. This will go nicely with the girls, Cosca Reeves and Bo-Katan. Now remember these ladies featured in the Mandalorian final episode, the all girl showdown, left one person out. Who was it? Axe Woes, the dude. Anyway, he's getting a figure. Oh yeah, so it's, it'll work. It's gonna work, it'll be popular. Obviously it'll be along all these lines of the Mandalorian. Fantastic, looking forward to that one. I'll quickly show the Mandalorian mural, or at least the back end of it, as you can see where I've put it together. You can speculate on what the numbers coming up will be past that point, because there will be probably some exclusive figures dropped in there as well. We're just talking about mainline figures. We don't know any exclusives coming yet. Maybe there's a Dark Trooper in the exclusive big size pack for Mandalorian. I don't know as of yet. We'll wait and see. Hold that thought. I want to talk briefly about Kyle Peterson on YouTube. Uh, he got a world record, a Guinness world record, for doing a Star Wars video, a review, on his channel, 
every day in the year of 2021. Congratulations. He did more than 365 because some of the videos he did a couple of the figures in the one video. That is some staggeringly good work to be able to pump out a video that much, you know, YouTube community, Star Wars community. Well, well done, Kyle. Well done, my friend. And love your show too. Next up is, oh yeah, I found this from a Facebook user with this classic image. We've all seen this image of Vader, Lando, and Boba Fett. And he re recreated it with the following figures. The Darth Vader is VC-08. The Lando is the VC-205. And I believe that is the Boba Fett with the VC-186. Don't hold me to that. It's probably the orange one that was earlier. He might have used the Empire version. There's the three figures that create that image. Fantastic stuff. I believe the guy's name was Adrian. Adrian. Awesome stuff. Next up, as you know, Australia's a little bit behind in the rest of the world when it comes to the Waves and the pre-orders Vintage and Black Series as well. But hey, finally, <laughs> Bib Fortuna has turned up in my part of the world. VC224, let's have a good look at him. What do you think about being in a land down under? Wonga wonga. That's what I thought too. Excellent. So happy to have Bib in the collection. Uh, this card back, you know, exactly, I mean, it's enhanced from what it looked like in 1983 when it was released, but wow. Finally have you. Where's your old school version? We, we like to do this on this channel occasionally. You, you take the old school Kenner version, you put him up, remember I did it with the, I think I did it with Tebow. <laughs> All right, here we go. How do you look together? Look at the camera. Why is he looking away? There we go. Brilliant. Ah, doesn't look as menacing. Coat's darker. Tentacle curls. <laughs> it curls now, it wraps around him. In those days, it, it kind of wrapped in those days. I obviously don't take it out of the pack. Um, if I ever get another one, maybe I'll slip him into a modern version of this, but I, I do like my Kenner in here as well. Excellent stuff. Very happy to have that as part of the collection. The rest of the wave apparently turns up on like the 24th of this month. So for you guys who have pre-ordered these in Australia, that includes Mithril, Quill, Lobot, and the Rebel Soldier Echo Base. Oh, you can check it out for yourself. There it is on the back. Bo-Katan as well. Uh, the IG and the Lando, as you know, I already have in the collection. Fantastic. And as I said at the beginning of the program, this here is a grail. This is a modern day grail. I follow uh, an account called uh, Nine Holy Grails in a Row. Fantastic account, shows you all the old school stuff. I've, I've showcased some of this stuff on here before with some of the classic Kenners, you know, really, really rare stuff. Give them a follow too. Uh, So this box here has been kindly donated from Aussie Sci-Fi Collectibles. Um, the reason for it, once you see it, I'll get into why. Um, this, it is one that has been elusive. And I'll tell you why, in this country, it was available to buy only at one place, but they never had what we call the box art image. They had shots like this loose image, not this guy, but you know what I mean. So everyone who sort of skipped out on it because they thought they could get this certain other one, Missed out on this one. Oh wow, and this is overly well, beautifully packed. A box inside a box. I just took that little seal off there, check that out. Is that coming in focus? Little Aussie Sci-Fi Collectibles logo. It's a nice little touch there. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. Oh man, I just, <laughs> I just, I'm kind of speechless when I see the white box first edition Mandalorian. Now you know what I meant by couldn't access it. Aussie Sci-Fi Collectibles has a new stock allotment of these. There's, there's more. You can go over to Aussie Sci-Fi, get yourself, you can buy the whole lot of them if you like. And this. This beauty completes my first edition collection. 
<laughs> yeah, I even like the little seals on. <laughs> it is inside a DF1 figure shield case, which you can also buy from them. Fantastic. Go over nice and steady. A lot of reflection. Now, if you're wondering, the figure is not different to the one that was sold in the black box. Yes, they are number 94. Look at that. The box makes it rare. That's it. But the collection, as an inbox collector, all together, it's something very, very special. We'll be back in one sec with the rest of the collection. Ta-da! Absolutely amazing collection. I'm so happy to have all these as part of my collection. And the piece of resistance. Did I say that correctly? The Mandalorian. Just fantastic. I'll well, get in close so you can all have a look. Thank you so much today. I Not every day I whip out a grail piece. Thank you so much Aussie Sci-Fi Collectibles. If you would like to buy yourself a set of these, go over to Aussie Sci-Fi Collectibles. I have a link in the description down below. Uh, I appreciate the gift. This is so wonderful. These are staying with me forever. Thank you all for watching today. My name is Usual Mike. If you'd like to support the channel, you can become a member by hitting the join button down below. Or you might want something from the Amazon affiliate link in the description. Buy something nice, help out the channel. Or you might want some of my brand new merch available at my Redbubble store. If you'd like to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter at UsualMike30 or on Instagram at UsualMikeTV. And if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe, tap that little bell for notifications, slap a like on the video if you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. All the best.